everyone welcome to spectrum classes this is our another lab activity video and in this video we are performing a lab activity based on osmosis with the help of potato and resin before performing the lab activity one must understand what is called osmosis and what is the difference between the osmosis and the diffusion so here i just written the definition of osmosis and this whatever is written over here that will be explained with the help of this picture so let's start osmosis is the spontaneous net moment or diffusion of solvent molecules through a selective permeable membrane from a region of high water potential to a region of low water potential to equalize the solute concentration on both the so I will explain each of the word with the help of this diagram so it's what is called spontaneous spontaneous means those process which occurs naturally like water falls from height to down level but from down level to up level it cannot flow moment of water from high level to low level is a spontaneous process so this is the meaning of spontaneous now uh, diffusion on diffusion i have already uploaded one video and uh, again i am discuss over here what is called diffusion so diffusion is in which moment of solute and solvent particles from high concentration side to low concentration side and they are free to move in any of the direction but here or in the osmosis solvent molecules through the selective permeable membrane so what is called selective permeable membrane so here is a container and this container is divided into two halves uh, with the help of this semi permeable membrane here is a semi permeable membrane which is having pore size so those molecules which are having so those molecules which are having pore, uh, their size less than the pore size they will allow to pass through the semi permeable membrane but those molecules which are having bigger size than the pore size of the semi permeable membrane they will stuck and they will not allow to pass through this semi permeable membrane this is the semi permeable membrane what is written over here from a region of high water potential to region of low water potential so what do you understand with this so if we are talk suppose here is a solvent molecules and solvent is water over here here is the solute molecules so solute which i have taken in the activity is sugar solute and solvent if we are talking in terms of solvent or in terms of solute then what we call it the side which is having high solvent concentration so uh, molecules are passes through the semi permeable membrane from high solvent side to low solvent side if we are talking in terms of solute the side which is having low solute concentration the solvent molecule starts passing from that side to the higher solute concentration side so here you can see with the small animation so these uh, water molecules are passes through this semi permeable membrane so in this manner just to equalize the concentration of solute on both the sides so here uh, this is very important term so high solvent or low solute both are represents this side on while you are reading your textbooks so please be concentrate on these two terms right otherwise you will get confused uh, so this can be represented over here so both on both the sides solute and solvent molecules are same this is in terms of concentration uh, one more thing on the right hand side where solute is more that side is going in level up and where the solute is less that side goes down in the level so through the semi permeable membrane this happens so but what is now what is the difference between the diffusion and the osmosis here in the osmosis solute and solvent molecules from high concentration to low concentration sites are free to move in any of the direction but here it is directional so here from from high solvent to low solvent side or low solute to high solute side the one more thing semi permeable membrane is required for osmosis so this is osmosis if we are simply talking about the reverse osmosis that is not a spontaneous phenomena right so in the reverse what is going to be happen from we will just reverse this so from low water potential to high water potential or high solute side to low solute side how we are going to explain this suppose we are having water which is contaminated with some of the heavy metals so we are forcefully or providing the energy to that system and uh, the solvent molecules from high concentration of solute side to low concentration of solute side starts moving through this membrane 
okay so that is reverse osmosis and uh, why i am telling you this because this is very important and in general chemistry objectives this is one of the objective which is very important and asked in several competitive exams now let's start with the lab activities good now we will perform this experiment with potato first we will peel it out and then we will make a cavity over there here you can see this is our potato with the cavity to that potato we we are adding 20 percent sugar solution so this i have already discussed in another video here we are having 20 percent sugar solution and this sugar, sugar solution we are going to add to that potato so here i am adding this and up to that level and this is represents the mark only up to which level we have filled this sugar solution and now outside this we are just pouring the crystal water you can see some bubbles over there and uh, this represents some water molecules are absorbed by these resin to osmosis you can see the level it took around three hours so it becomes black so outside this potato in the petri dish water level goes down and inside the potato it goes up here one more thing which i bring to your notice that cell membrane should be alive if we are performing this experiment with the boiled potato then this osmosis will not work i hope you understand the concept and uh, you enjoy this lab activity video thank you all